Now that we've installed and set up Panda in our project, let's explore how to use Panda CSS to build this testimonial card component. From the design, you notice there's a profile photo, name, social handle, and the actual testimonial. All of these are contained within a nice card that has some border, box shadow, and border radius. Let's build this out. Here's my Vit app already running. So I'll start by adding in the image tag for the profile photo. I'll give you the source and alt attributes. Also, I'll add in some width and height. This is what we have. From the design, we need to bring in the circle pattern to create a circle around the image. So I import circle from style system slash patterns and I add a div around the image. On the class name attribute, I call the circle pattern as a function. Now I pass the circle styles as an object. The first style is the size. I also set the overflow property to hidden. That's done, so let's move over to the next part in our design. We need to add in the name and social handle. So I create an enclosing div and inside it, I add an h2 tag that has the name and a p tag that has the handle. Based on the design, we notice the name should be bold and the handle should be a gray color. So let's add in these styles. We need to import the CSS function from style system slash CSS. This is the function that we use to write all our styles in Panda CSS. Next, we pass in the font weight and color to these text elements. Check out what we built so far. The next thing is to place the profile photo and text side by side. We can do this by using the H stack pattern. Create a div wrapper around both and call the H stack pattern as a function. From the design, let's increase the spacing between these two elements. We can do this using the gap property and we set gap to 4. Great! Now let's add in the actual testimonial using the block quote element. I'm adding a font size of 17 pixels to match the design. Right now, you notice two things. The code stretches all through the screen. Don't worry about that, we'll fix it shortly. Also, we need to add spacing between the block code and the top div. Add a wrapping div and pass a stack pattern to it. Give the stack a gap of 4. Now let's move over to the actual card that wraps this element. We can get the styles for this from Figma. We grab the border styles, box shadow and border radius styles. Also, add a padding of 6 around the card. To constrain the width, let's give the card a maximum width of 388 pixels based on the design. Finally, let's center the card on our screen. To do this, Panda offers a center pattern. Wrap a div around the card and pass the center pattern as a function to it. Set the height to 100VH. This is what we have. You can see it looks very sleek and matches our design. So go ahead and try Panda in your projects.